Hey, uh, this is Frostbeard, and we are at the Mohican Memorial State Forest. I just got us signed in, and uh, we're going to do two nights, three days out here with um, all seven of our kids. Uh, well, it's just me and all seven of the kids. Kind of a trial run for our 4th of July trip. I uh, wanted to do it close to home. We're only an hour and a half away from home, and make sure that everything works good um, where we can bail if we need to. Um, before we are um, at Daniel Boone National Forest and can't bail if everything goes wrong or if anything goes wrong. Come on, Liam. Liam, come on. We're leaving, dude. Okay, so we had some confusion with our map. Um, the one that was where we signed in, the one that is online, uh, they don't match up. And so uh, we grabbed one um, and we came to our trailhead and we started looking for where it came off to the left and couldn't find it. And so we ran into some horseback riders and we asked them and uh, upon looking at the map, they informed us that it is wildly inaccurate. <laughs> Um, and so we are going to take a completely different route than what we had planned, but uh, that's all right. We're flexible and uh, we'll still get there. And he said it's about the same amount of mileage, um, but less hilly and easier to follow. So um, we're going to be on our way. Let's see your feet, Noah. So, ew. See yours. So we crossed a creek and it was muddy and Hope fell and completely submerged in it, everything but her head. And so we are wiping off our feet in the grass. And she lost the flip flop. Yep, and she lost a flip flop in the mud. So we're wiping off our feet in the grass and putting shoes back on. Even Liam's been walking around barefoot here for a few minutes, letting their feet dry off. Liam! Daddy, this one Sure. All right, so we've got our first set of lessons uh, about this with this trip, things to avoid for the next trip. And they are this jumper that Faith is wearing, which is very cute and seemed like a very good idea. But what are the problems with it, Faith? The strap is too, um, uh, too skinny. And we got to use the bathroom, we have to pull the whole thing down. That's right. It's got spaghetti straps. And so the shoulder harnesses on her pack are rubbing her shoulders because there's no fabric. And then... Like she said, in order to go pee, she has to take the entire jumper off, um, which we just didn't think through when we first started. Daddy, did you miss me? No. Dad, yes. the stick to my drink. Sure, buddy, I'll get you your drink. Turn around. Hold, I'll, I'll get it out, Liam. 
Nesta. Dad, could you hold this? Thank you. Why am I holding this? Until <laughs> we get to the campsite. All right. Why is it cold? Drink your Gatorade. Let's get back moving. <laughs> All right, so Faith's backpack became too much for her to bear the pain of it rubbing. And I gotta admit, I touched the um, shoulder strap and it is pretty abrasive, surprisingly, for something that you're gonna put on a child. Um, but so I've thrown it over my shoulder and everybody has left me in the dust. Um, we've walked a lot longer than we had intended to, although we took a different route because we couldn't find the trail um, from the route we had intended to take. But uh, So we've hiked a lot further and we've seen some like really confusing trail signs. Parts where it says that like multiple trails are together but um, the map doesn't show that at all. Um, it's just been strange. It has not met up with the map at all. So we're a little confused but we're gonna keep moving. Oh look! A Sasquatch hut. Interesting. What's the campsite number? Is there a sign? Yeah, very cool. Come over here. Come look at it. E? Campsite E? There's no sign, but it's definitely a campsite. Yeah, that's Sasquatch Hut right there. Fire Ooh, buddy. Pit. And a fire pit. So weird. Makes me wonder if other people have been like, oh, this was a lot longer than I thought it would be. I'm just going to set up camp. I haven't seen a llama before. But they look like us. Llamas. Come on, llamas. <laughs> Um, Salon has a lot of squishies. She got 27. Yeah. Dad, you look really small. Oh, no, do the crossing stuff. Yeah. Just cross. Yeah. All right, well, we have finally arrived at camp. Yay. It's getting dark. As a matter of fact, the sun has officially already set, but we're gonna get things set up and we're switching up our meal plan to have mashed potatoes tonight instead of the soup that we had planned because we have hiked way more today than we intended to. We hiked about six miles today. Um, it was only supposed to be two, so um, the kids did really, really well. They were troopers. Um, really didn't complain that much. Um, they did a great job. Uh, we got to camp a um, couple minutes after sunset and got everything set up, tarp set up, um, hammocks hung, tents set up. And then rather than cook food, we, um, we just ate our lunch for tomorrow. So we'll have to eat, um, we'll eat two dinners tomorrow, which won't be all bad. That means, um, you know, hot food twice in one day. Um, but, uh, we built a fire and sat around it and, um, ate our dinner and everybody settled into their tents now and dozing off and some of them are already asleep. And so I'm just gonna lay here and read for a while till I know everyone's asleep and then uh, go to sleep myself. So good night, guys.
So it's about 6.30 in the morning, and uh, Hope and Liam are the only ones up. And uh, they've been up for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, but I didn't get up right away. Um, I think everyone slept pretty good, uh, except for Lily. She woke up at about 3.30 in the morning and she was cold. Um, we just brought these uh, like fleece sleeping bag liners, and uh, then I had them bring pajamas. And um, Lily, our oldest, she brought really light pajamas. So she woke up cold. Um, but everybody else slept really good. Um, the campsite turned out to be a lot further from the stream than the map showed. The map showed it like right next to the stream and we hiked uphill for almost a mile before we got to the campsite. So um, last night we, uh, like I said, last night we, we ate our lunch food um, rather than cook um, for two reasons. One, it saved time. We were all starving. It was 10 o'clock at night and we were just eating dinner. And two, um, it saved us from having to hike back down a mile each way for water. So me and Hope and Liam are doing that now. And uh, gonna have some coffee this morning and we have uh, dried bananas, dried bananas and uh, Pop-Tarts for breakfast. Uh, then we'll tear down camp and um, it should be, should be only about two miles um, to our next camp. So I'm thinking we'll be to our next camp um, by lunchtime. This is a camp that uh, I know has water at it because I've been there before. And so um, we should have a great day. We should have lots of time to just chill and hang out and uh, the kids want to play in the creek and, and that kind of stuff. So uh, anticipating a good day today, a more relaxed day. Um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So we filtered oh. our three water bottles. We, we filled them up with clean water. Oh. I've got a big old bag of dirty water. Oh. We are gonna head uh, back up the hill to where camp is. You guys wanna be in the video? Say hi. Hi. So we're heading back up to where camp is and we are going to uh, have some coffee and dried bananas and Pop-Tarts. Should be a good morning. Daddy, will you carry this? No, you're gonna carry it. Use it this stuff. So we had a visitor last night. Liam takes a medicine that has to be refrigerated all the time. And just realized that something had knocked over the koozie I made and apparently stolen the lid thinking that maybe there would be food in there. So I'm guessing it was a raccoon or something. The lid might be around here somewhere, but we're gonna have to hunt for it. Or I'm gonna have to get creative on how to keep that thing closed. Dirty mouses cannot climb, right? Dirty mouses can climb.
There we go. It's coffee time. Yeah. Ah! Look at that. But I don't know that. I see it too cold. No, yeah. I'm tired. Beautiful. Coffee oh, always has this turtle. And you guys say, oh yes, they're going to play Pokemon today. It's about 10.30. Uh, it takes a little longer to get seven kids' sleeping stuff torn down, but uh, we did it, and we are on the trail. We've got about two to three miles to hike today, and uh, we're all in good spirits. Most of us slept really good last night, and uh, we're looking forward to getting to our next camp and having a hot lunch. So here we go. All right, we just got to camp and a couple surprises for us here at Campsite 3. I'll show you here. Uh, there is a bow drill kit. Uh, it's a pretty nice one, actually. Um, it doesn't look like they used it, but it's there. And then a lovely bouquet of flowers. So a few gifts from a bushcrafting friend. Maybe we'll try the bow drill kit. Probably isn't going to work out for us, though, because I've never actually used one. But I've seen them used on YouTube, so maybe I'll give it a shot. We'll see. So 
James and Nicole have set up their hammocks and uh, the big kids uh, set up their tarp pretty well. Um, they've got kind of a porch set up. It's got lots of space in it. Um, they're pretty happy with that. And so they've gone off, all the kids have gone off to uh, play in the creek that we crossed just a little bit ago. And I have to set up uh, Hope and Liam's tent and my own tent. And then I think I'm going to go down and watch them play in the creek for a little bit. And we might even take a nap today. I think most of them are feeling it. So a uh, nap might be good. Might be good for everyone to just chill for a little bit. But uh, it's only uh, like 1 o'clock, so we got lots of time today, lots of time to chill and have fun and play and do whatever. Gather firewood and have a good day. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, well, I've done a few camp chores, cleaned up from lunch, uh, drank a bunch of water because I was really thirsty, and uh, the kids are still playing over by the creek. So I think I'm going to head over there and see what they're up to and uh, maybe take my shoes off and get my feet wet and uh, then let them air out because they need it. So I think I'll grab the dirty water bottle also and uh, we'll get some more water while we're out. You were? Yeah. Well, here I am. I <laughs> to get a drink. You're going to have to go back to camp for a drink. I didn't bring any. Yep, I'm coming down. That's my plan. Split in the creek, huh? Yeah. What? Using help me, Lily. I'll help you.
Liam, buddy, I'm cooking your dinner. Are you getting hungry? Yeah? You wanna lay here and rest until it's ready? No? You're gonna get up? Yes? Okay, I'll call you when it's ready, okay? A fortune door. Why do I always keep being fortune doors? Evolve it and use bullet seed. All right, you guys ready to head out? Yeah! You ready to get home and get clean? Yeah! <laughs> no. no? Have you had fun? Yeah! Yeah, all right. Yeah. Let's hit the trail. Yeah. No, I do not want to get clean. I'm not starting a fire with you. Let's go. You don't like getting clean, James? I'll throw my way, James. I can go James is ready to get home and be dirty. That's what he enjoys in life. Why you pull the wrong light? All right, we are out, crossing the parking lot to the car. The last, I don't know, quarter mile is a big hill, which I raced Liam to the top. He beat me, but I'm out of breath now. So we are uh, gonna get in the car, head home, and I think we're probably gonna hit a Taco Bell so we don't have to go in anywhere. We're gonna skip our general tradition of Azteca because it just won't be a good time and this evening's busy. So uh, we're gonna hit up a Taco Bell and uh, celebrate with some Mexican food when we get home. Get cleaned up. Cannot wait to get a shower. But thanks for following, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.